Okay, you're hanging in there. That must be a good sign. Okay, so up next is a, it's, it's a long clip. It's a teaching uh, for a level two fixed income. If you already know the concept, then what I want you to do is skip right past it. Go right into the learning exercise. See, that's the beauty of my material. You don't have to sit around and waste hours. If you've already know the, the concept, you can jump right into that high payoff activity, the learning exercise. I mean, if you want to sit around and go through and listen to every word that I say, that's great. You can do that too. But my material is going to help you learn how to apply your knowledge on the exam so that you can score the points you need to get over the passing score. All right. Enjoy the lesson. Okay, so now these are the signals that we need to pick up on when we are looking at valuing bonds. Okay, so let's just talk about option-free bonds at the moment. What I want you to be aware of is, is the bond risk-free or are we talking about a risky bond? So you've got to read the question really carefully here, okay? If it's a risk-free bond, then we're using the spot rates to value this. That's nice and easy. We know this. You'll connect that back to going from the, the par rates and bootstrapping. We know this. If it's a risky bond, then we want to use the spot rates, and then we're going to adjust those spot rates for the Z spread. So uh, they will give us this. This is what you're looking for. Nice, easy signal. Nice, easy mark. Okay, that's the easy part. Let's talk about callable and puttable bonds, or just in general, bonds with embedded options. Now, here it is. This is the CFAism, watch out, risk-free. I don't know how they have a risk-free callable or puttable bond, but it's in the curriculum, okay? So be aware whether you're talking about a risk-free bond or a risky bond, a bond that has default risk. That's what we're talking about. Don't just assume that a corporate bond is, is uh, risky. So if it's a risk-free bond, you're going to use the forward rates uh, to uh, to find the value of this bond. You could also use the spot rates as long as you know how to do the math. I mean, it works out the same way, okay? So forward rates here for the, uh, for the risk-free, you got to read the case really carefully. And if we're talking about a risky bond, then we're going to use those forward rates and now we're going to adjust them for the uh, OAS, the option adjusted spread. So that's what you want to take away here and make sure that you know what you're reading. And of course, you could also use spot rates. I mean, remember spot rates and forward rates. We know how to do that math. We've covered that previously. Now, the third scenario here, we're talking about callable, puttable bonds, bonds with embedded options. Now you got to keep your eye on whether there's volatility. How do we do this? If there's zero volatility uh, or if there is volatility, how are you going to know? They're going to tell us in the question. It'll say something like it's a, an environment where the volatility of interest rates is zero, or they'll give us some kind of number. If it's zero volatility, then you're going to use the backwards process using the forward rates to come up with valuing the bond, using our call rules and our put rules. I think that's something you've got to be ready for. If there is volatility, then we're going to use the uh, tree. That's what we're looking at. We're using the interest rate tree. And now you've got to go back and connect the dots. Are they talking about a risk-free bond? We know now we're just simply using those forward rates in the tree. Or are they talking about a risky bond? And now what we're doing here is we're taking those forward rates that are in the tree and we are adjusting them for the OAS or if it, if it just happened to be uh, you know, back to the option free bond, then uh, adjusting for the Z spread. So this is it. This is the quick, uh, quick three points that you got to pick up on. And now let's drop this into our learning example. So pull out your example and we'll go through it right now. 